on June 26, 2020, at 12 a.m. GMT, a Cold Space Rescue Challenge map was issued to ICO participants from around the world. All participants were given 24 hours to develop AI strategies to solve the same challenge. In Cold Space Rescue Challenge, teams are required to build a real robot, develop and program appropriate algorithms and strategies for both real and virtual autonomous robots to navigate through both real and virtual worlds. Additionally, they have to search and collect objects while competing with another team's robot that is also searching and collecting objects in the same real and virtual worlds. During the challenge, the robot needs to overcome barriers, avoid traps, and swamps. If the robot successfully makes a deposit, the points of the objects deposited will be doubled. The virtual field has been divided into a 3 by 3 matrix. When the robot moves into each section, the robot's corresponding location information will be assigned to the robot. Location information can be used for the development of AI algorithms and strategies, such as path planning and search algorithms. The winner of the challenge will be the robot with the highest points. Strategies. Strategy 1. Move random. There are three ultrasonic sensors on the robot. The robot will move forward until it distance from the wall reaches the set value. When ultrasonic sensor left closer to the wall, it will go right, like this. When ultrasonic sensor right closer to the wall, it will go left like this strategy 2 a long wall use the ultrasonic sensor to keep the robot at the distance from the wall. The along wall also has left and right. Sometimes we can set up the distance bigger than 30 so that it can collect the objects far away from the wall. Strategy 3 RGB If the robot collects one set of red science and blue objects at one go and deposit them successfully, it can receive 90 points. If the robot collects two set of red science and blue objects at one go and deposit them successfully it can receive 180 points thank you for your listening my report thank for the organizer Hello, I am Wendelin and I am from Singapore. The category that I took part in for this ICO challenge was Cold Space Rescue First Steps under the age category of U19. And this is my third year in robotics. So here are some of the strategies that I have made use of in this competition. Firstly, let's begin with the more basic strategies. 
Michael involves the robot turning away when there's an obstacle within 20 cm of any of its ultrasonic sensors. This will allow ample time and space for the robot to turn away and not crash into any of its obstacles. The distance of 20 cm along the walls also ensure that the robot is not moving too close to the edge, where there are no objects. When my robot has objects collected, it will also turn away once the color sensor senses the RGB values of the yellow warning zone. This is to ensure that my robot does not accidentally move into the trap and lose the points that I have collected. When the robot has no objects loaded, I may need to move faster at a speed of about 70 so that it can find objects much quicker as there is no need to worry about the robot accidentally moving into the trap and losing points. Which brings me to my next point. When the robot is not loaded, it will just move across the traps to prevent the robot from looping its path too often and to allow it to move into other spaces where I have yet to collect objects. When the robot also happens to pass by a deposit zone, it will also not stop to deposit since that will be a waste of time considering that no points will be earned. Other strategies that I have implemented to try and improve my scores include only depositing when I have at least two objects collected in my robot. This is because, especially for this map, I kept moving into the deposit zone but only had one object at that time. This greatly reduced the chances of me gaining more points because it would take quite a bit of time to deposit objects one by one. Furthermore, based on the objects on my server, I also try to adjust the speed of the wheels to change the turning angles so that I try to move into various areas where I can collect all three of the different colours to earn the extra 90 points when I deposit my objects. From this whole experience, I have definitely learned to be adaptable and how to strategize because there was no way to hard code anything when the map was going to be different. As such, I had to have a flexible code which I could easily edit to allow me to have an effective run during the actual competition itself. Even though this may have been an individual competition, I have also learned to collaborate with others to get to know their strategies and the mistakes that they have made so that I can learn from them and implement it in my own code and improve my scores. Most importantly, I have also learned how to persevere and take the time to think about what went wrong in my run and where I can fix my code to score better. Overall, this competition has also exposed me to other forms of robotics and helped grow my passion in robotics. Thank you. And off we go! In this demo game, we will minimize any manual intervention. Red Robot is depositing. Blue Robot has a set of red, black, and cyan objects. Red Robot has a set of red, black, and cyan objects. Red Robot is depositing. Blue Robot is searching in the blue special area. Any objects picked up in this area will double in value.
Blue Robot has a set of red, black, and cyan objects. Blue Robot is depositing. Red Robot is full. Red Robot needs to make a deposit before it can continue collecting. Red Robot is depositing. Red Robot is searching in the blue special area. Any objects picked up in this area will double in value. Red Robot has a set of red, black, and cyan objects. Blue Robot is depositing. Red Robot has two sets of red, black, and cyan objects. Blue Robot is searching in the blue special area. Any objects picked up in this area will double in value. Blue Robot wins this challenge. Congratulations!